eight-inch hole case was absolutely tragic. You're not going to get any argument from me. That dog needs to be put down. But it's not because of the breed it needed to be put down. It's because of the behaviour. I was aware that the, the animal that unfortunately killed Aunt Chong and brought about all this legislative change, um, I was advised by senior government officials that that dog didn't meet the restricted breed standard. And so, you know, this law, although well-intentioned, I suppose, um, was actually brought about under the falsehood that the dog that killed Aunt Chong would have been removed by this legislation. And you know, I've been very clearly advised that dog would not have that standard. To call this current batch of laws AN's law so dishonours that family's loss. Laws that in fact patently failed to address the key issues that led to a dog being in society, managed that way with that temperament that then took a child's life. That's, you know, that's, that's a real travesty. Legislation needs to be revoked. You cannot improve on saying, you know, you look like something, therefore you're going to one day be responsible for something else. So we're going to euthanise you, just in case. That's never going to work. Um, you know, I think it was within two days of that legislation being passed, there was a child mauled on the head here in this very, uh, very area. So, uh, and that was a sled dog, it was a mammoth. You know, so the legislation did not stop that child getting bitten, like it hasn't stopped many others. Um, the media these days, the minute there is a dog attack publicised, it's declared it's a pit bull from word go, with nobody who's qualified to identify it. Well, listen to the science. And I hate to use that term, but the pit bull was wheeled out, examined publicly, absolutely designed to evoke emotion and play on the heightened emotional state of the public, yeah? But there was more than one breed involved in that dog. And no one bothered to pay any attention to the other breeds. It makes people angry, and the problem is that when people get angry, they don't tend to think straight. I'm guilty of it myself. But what we really need is a calm, considered, unified approach. Anyone that, I guess, believes that this all came about um, trying to remove dangerous dogs from society because all of the dogs that look like this behave like this has really been misled. I don't believe that any particular breed is inherently dangerous. There are individuals in all breeds that are dangerous. This whole legislation is about identifying breeds, and it shouldn't be. It should be identifying personalities, okay, and at-risk personalities. You know, the question should be, how do we identify the dogs that need to be removed from society to protect society? Um, there are a number of countries who've seen massive reductions in dog fights whether, and dog attacks on humans. The Calgary model in Canada, for example, is phenomenal, and it is training-based, behaviour-based, rewards to owners who do the right thing, that sort of model. What we have in Australia at the moment is encouraging people to hide their dogs out of fear. Legislation is supposed to be there to protect us. As the key stakeholder, we're not being served well by those people that put these laws in place. So, you have to ask yourself, is legislation about making people feel safe or is legislation about offering actual protection? Oh,